how's it going? I'm doing well, thank you, FSG. How about yourself? Very well, thank you. Off the back of uh, a rather fun logging league last night. Yes, very good. Yeah, it was very cool. Very, uh, very nice to get that done and uh, some highlights in there too. It's impressive. It was, it was. Mm. Um, we're back on the harvest here though, aren't we? Yeah, we've seen the back of the canola fields here. They're, uh, they're all done, but we are moving straight into the wheat down the bottom. So we've got the three fields down there, plus the one in by the sheep pasture to get done. So a fair, uh, fair few acres of wheat to get done. There is indeed, isn't there? Yeah, mm. but um, no time like the present. I know it's uh, getting towards the end of the day here, but uh, let's just crack on and see how much we can get done before it goes dark. Yeah, of course, uh, running those bigger draper heaters go a little bit faster than the pickups do, or at least we're doing a wider pickup, so... Um, shouldn't take too long. No, it shouldn't. You're right. And um, what's the best course of action? Shall we uh, both jump into that sheep pasture field? Or uh, um, one of us worth going down to the bottom and starting down I there? I reckon one of us goes down to the bottom and opens the field up and the other does the sheep pasture and then we'll see if person can come down. All right, good call. Take a track to each and just see how we go. Sounds like a plan. All right. Sounds good. All right, we'll, uh, we'll go and get to it. Let's do it, mate. Who, which do you want to do sheep or I'll, I don't mind doing sheep if you want you can do some sheep this time it seems I always do the sheep <laughs> yes let's move swiftly on from that alright <laughs> go and have fun we'll see you soon <laughs> cheers well hello everyone welcome back to Aussie Farms here with the farmsome guy and myself and as we've just said we're getting straight into harvesting some wheat so I have to pull the combines out and go and get them all set up but uh, fortunately I fueled mine up before the end of the last episode, so I should be good to go. Just gonna let FSG get his out there. Of course, hook up to the header in the behind, get that trailer hooked up, and head on over to the field. Now, actually, I think what I might do, I might go and take a truck over for him. Uh, we're obviously not in so much of a hurry. Well, neither of us are in a hurry, but we'll go and let him get started in on the sheep field uh, because we'll be able to go down and just sort of tackle that other one, and I'm sure he'll wanna get down and sort of work in the field at the same time with us so if we take a truck over for him that's one less thing for him to worry about he can just get straight into it and we can probably use a bit of auto drive to send the truck down to where we need it as well so jump up here into the Kenworth and head on over there always feels like it changes when you drive out this field I think we've had corn planted by the neighbors on both sides and it always feels kind of like you're driving down a very narrow little track with the tall corn either side or at least on one side but uh, at the moment with these sort of lower crops it's uh, not quite as dominating and daunting as it has been so it does make it just feel a little bit different let's just see there is our wheat field right there in front of us FSG pulling out he's actually taking a little bit of care this time going out there in front of the traffic still managed to uh, get one car caught out but they probably could have slowed down a touch nothing coming that way for us just make sure there's nothing coming the other way no we're well clear all right let's get this pulled out here we will go and park it somewhere useful for FSG probably along the top end of the field here will be the best spot and uh, we'll leave it and we'll head on over to the other one I think everything's just going to be going back to the farm throwing it straight up in the silos uh, is about all we need to do with it so uh, there's no not worth selling or anything like that at this stage there we go we'll get that there open the tarp up for him and uh, we'll leave it parked up right perfect spot We'll turn that off and jump out and uh, head back on over to the yard. SG heading around there. Love these uh, headers being able to fold the trailer and everything up, the hitch and everything up into the bottom of the header so you don't have to worry about any trailers on the field. Makes things much easier. Thanks for bringing that down mate, appreciate it. No, that's alright, I thought I might as well help you out. It's getting started here so I'll leave that one and go and get started in the other one. Excellent, I will uh, see you in a little while. Yeah, it's not going to take too long in here, it's not the biggest field. No, it won't take long at all. Yeah, all right, we'll see you down the, uh, down the bottom. Cheers, mate. So we're just leveraging a little bit of auto drive there. We've got the truck heading down to field eight, which is down the bottom. Uh, so we will meet that down there, combine out and ready to go, just getting that warmed up. Just hop on over here, get on up the ladder and head on down to the field. I'm not actually sure which way the truck's going to go, looks like it is heading back out that way which is fine, we'll just have to make sure we don't come across it anywhere uh, that it's going to get in our way or we're going to get in its way. I think if I remember correctly the last few times we've used this truck course or this auto drive course it goes all the way down to the bottom of the map and then sort of zigzags back through the fields but gets there eventually. So 
think with uh, everything all set to go, we'll head on down. I think we might actually make a start. Just thinking out loud. In the small field, we'll get that one chopped out, and then we'll open up the big one and get into there. And then uh, once FSG's done, we'll be able to work in that field together. So we'll uh, we'll check in, see how he's going. He's probably sort of halfway around this field already by now, and uh, then we'll get down and get started. Oh, right, and there he is, just as we're running in the farm here in this entrance. Sort of, yeah, about halfway around. Let's take a nice big swath out, actually, that uh, that combine, that header, does cover a good amount of ground very, very quickly. Now we've come in this way just to get ourselves off the road, not having to grapple with any of the traffic or anything like that, uh, just avoid all those issues. We'll head on down this way. Can't say I've seen the truck go past, but at the same time, haven't been paying attention for it, but here it does go racing down the road, so uh, we'll get there about the same time. I expect. Right, let's get on down to the field and we'll go make a start. I might jump into the little field, like I said. Get that one done first. So here we are down at the field. I'll get this turned on. Get on into this field here. And just make a start harvesting. So this one isn't going to take us very long at all. It is only a very small field. You would have noticed in FSG's field we're not keeping the straw. There really is no market for around here. So uh, it's just as easy to spread it out and get that uh, back into the field once we mulch it down and cut it into the field and we uh, cultivate it and get things planted so uh, we are just getting that all chopped up and spread back across the ground but uh, this is only a little one shouldn't take us too long so we will get a little bit of a time lapse up and going and we'll see you once we're finished Typically we've ended up with just a narrow little pass, um, but then you look at how much space I've left on the side of the header, we might have been able to get it all in one go, but also be mindful looking at how full we are getting. Uh, but I think as this is tapering down, we're going to be able to pick all of this up in one go and not have to go and unload and come back, which is fortunate. Uh, a little bit unorthodox with how I was unloading, of course auto drive me down to a point that was actually within the field rather than in the track, and I didn't want to mess with that, so I just left the truck where it was and we backed up. Um, definitely not advisable but it worked for us in this instance and obviously right there in the first lap of the field yes so I did deliberately drive over some of the crop uh, being 40 or 50 meters short of the end of that pass it just didn't seem to me to make sense to either 
turn around and drive back out for the small amount of wheat we were going to run over and damage so uh, that was just one of those things. I'm sure it happens in farms all the time where uh, sometimes efficiencies take priority over uh, practicalities. But there we go, that's us done. Is there? I think there's just a little bit more on the other side of the tree. So we will head on through, back our way back across the track, get this all unloaded into the truck and then we will get started on opening these fields up. Uh, I'm not sure how, I might go around actually all of them in one go, get them all opened up and uh, see how we get on. We are going to have to try and manage this from an unload point of view but I'm sure we'll figure out the best way to do that. There we go, that is us done, 95% full. Get that turned off. We're going to get ourselves unloaded. FSG is about halfway through the field by the sheep so he won't be too far away from joining us. Um, particularly once we've spent a bit of time going around these fields and getting things all opened up ready to go. So we'll get this all unloaded and get into these next fields. So I've given it some thought what I'm going to do. I'm going to head down this side of the field. We're not going to go right around because I know for sure we will not make it around the field in one go without having to unload. So what I'm going to do, we're going to head down to the bottom corner here. We'll take this side off and we'll come back along, back up towards the truck. We'll see how far we get. We can get to the bottom of the field and be less than 50% we can obviously make it back up but to be honest looking at how far we've gone I don't think we're going to do that but at least it means we can take ourselves out and run back up this way and empty into the truck we'll do the same on the other field and then go down the other end and do that down there as well and we'll have a couple of passes taken off each of the ends of the field and then we can uh, either park the truck down the ends we'll see how it goes uh, we'll bring FSG's truck down the one he's got as well and we'll be able to unload as we go past. Ideally, we would be getting a grain cart up and running and working, but just doesn't seem to be wanting to work for us. Um, the other option would be to put a hired helper on one of the uh, combines and drive a grain cart. Maybe we'll do that. We'll give it some thought. But that could be an option with the speed we're filling up here with wheat. We'll probably actually be able to keep one person quite busy running a grain cart while the other two combines run so I don't know maybe we might go and do that actually just for a little bit of a change of scenery and variety have a work of driving the combine and uh, we'll run a grain cart but how full are we? Oh yeah only 35% so we are going to be able to turn around here and make it all the way back so that's pretty good I wonder if we're in a slightly uh, slightly poorer quality soil here which has given us the chance to get all the way down to the end because I would have said at the start we weren't going to do that there we go just cutting across a little bit here enough back ourselves up turn around and head back up to where we came from answer my own question we were on silty clay which we do know is one of the worst yielding soils which you can see quite clearly there green until we go into quite a yellow patch so uh definitely definitely an evident difference in our yields as we go from one side to the other so that explains why we were able to get down and back just thinking about it in the next field up field number eight that doesn't have any of this poor soil so it might be a little bit harder to go up and back with one full hopper but we will give it a go and see how far we can get well there we go we've just unloaded into the truck after that one pass and uh, they're going to head off and go and empty out which is good it's good timing actually what i might do while well, they're not here is we're actually just going to go and cut a little chunk out here along the side so that when we do come to unload again in the future we're not unloading where the truck is uh, unfortunately they are running around the edge of the field i don't know whether we need to have a bit of a link set up to get back out on the edge there uh, of course ignore the canola as well that was a little faux pas we had in a previous episode with some planting so that'll just disappear we'll get rid of that but we are only harvesting the wheat here so I think if we just get to about there it's probably a good spot we will turn around leave the truck to go and do its business and we will carry on opening up this field we'll probably actually get caught short just for a bit waiting for the truck to come back but that's fine uh, I'm sure we'll find something to do while we're waiting for them. Well, let's just go through here and see how far we can get up and back. So that's another pass done off the end of the field. We managed to get up and back quite easily, in fact. Uh, but we're 91% full, so I'm not going to bother going any further. I did just cut in a little bit more here for, uh, for the truck. So that should be all good to go for when they get back. But what I'm going to do, uh, we might just pop over and see how FSG is going. See if he needs a hand bringing the truck over here or emptying it out or something like that. And then... I think I am going to go and grab a grain cart and just see if we can get that up and running in here as well. Uh, like I said, even if it is the case of putting a worker into one of the fields, FSG harvests the other and I'll run the grain cart for a bit or maybe we'll do a bit of a vice versa, a bit of a job switch there at some stage and both have a go at running the grain cart. We will wait and see, but let's head on uh, back over and see how FSG is getting on. Well, I'll tell you what, that looks like pretty good timing because I think 
judging by what he's just done, he might be finished. Get on over this way and get unloaded. And that's, uh, that's going to work out really well timing-wise, I think. Not sure how full his truck is. We will just jump up and have a little bit of a look. We'll ignore the fact he just scraped his header along the side there. It's a pretty full truckload by the looks of things. Wasn't expecting you here, Ox? Oh, no. I'd, well, I'm just waiting for my truck to unload and get back, so I thought I'd come over and see if you needed a hand moving, and looks like good timing. Perfect timing. I was going to say, I was going to have to run the combine now and then come back and shift this, but... Uh, there we go. You've arrived just in time, like a... like a guardian angel. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, I'll run this over and empty it out then, eh, and bring it down to the other field. Okay, thanks, mate. Cool. There is a GPS course set up called Field 7 and 8 Combines or something like that for that one. Um, but I'm also thinking I might bring one of the grain carts down and actually use a worker on my combine and drive a grain cart for a bit because it's yielding pretty well. Well, yeah, okay, if you're happy to do that, mate, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah, just for a bit of a change too. Maybe um, swap around halfway through if you want to have a go. All right. Yeah, let's have a, let's have a play about. All right, cool. Well, All right. I'll leave you to get yourself down to the field. I'll meet you down there soon. Thanks, mate. I'll see you All in right. a bit. Right, well that has worked out very, very well. Get that cover put on the trailer. Now, I got told off for turning too tightly last time, so we're going to be a little bit more delicate on those rear wheels. And just uh, take a little bit of a wider berth here as we turn. Before we head on over. Now, 87% full, we're definitely going to get this dumped into the silo. Uh, and then we'll put this one on all-wheel drive as well, which can head on down to the field. Should be able to go and park up behind the other one, and uh, we can focus on getting that grain cart down there and getting started with that. And I think, I really do think that's going to be a really good option for us today. This wheat's, uh, wheat's doing really well down in those fields, so uh, it'll be good to be able to not have to run the combines back and forth across the field to go and empty out into the trucks. Not the most ideal and efficient way to do things, so we'll head on over, go and get this dumped out, and uh, get on down there. Well, we've turned up here and the other truck is still unloading. We do need to change the setting. I've just double checked that this one is tipping the whole rear door, not just the grain door like the one in front of us is. You can see there, it's taking quite some time to go through and empty that out. In fact, what's still up here in the trailer, can we see? Right, it's going to tell us what's in the uh, flat bottom bin. There we go, still got 9% in it, so uh, we will. Just take the chance before it drives off just to change with the tip side make sure that is using the back but uh it's just about done so we'll let it finish off and uh well then we'll interrupt and get that all sorted out there we go field eight tracked away agi bin unload we're getting an unload there because the tarp is opening and we should see this one dumping a whole lot quicker using that whole rear door rather than just the grain door ah it's obviously an auto drive thing who would have thought we had it set correctly, but auto drives overridden that and decided it's going to tip that way. Yeah, well, we'll let auto drive do its thing. One truck down there will be enough. We shouldn't be filling them up too quickly. But uh, let's head on over this way. I think we've still got a grain cart hooked up to one of the 8Rs, so we will make the use of that, take the benefit of all being connected, and head on down and go and get started. FSG should be down there by now and ready to get going as well. So here we are, looks like FSG is up and moving already, which is good. Taking off that uh, erroneous row of canola there at the same time as harvesting the wheat. It's just uh, getting underneath our combine here. Uh, we might radio ahead and let them know what our plan was to take a side off the field. And uh, just let them know that that's what we were going to do. He might want to run up there and get that done. Ox at FSG. Go ahead, Ox. Someone sabotaged our field and put some canola in the edge of it. I don't know, what's going on here? I don't know, I don't know. Um, I was taking off these passes on each end and then going to go the way you're running at the moment. Sort of a crossways. If you want to chop off part of the end down that side or not. Yeah, I'll take I'll take two end rows off down here as well. Yeah, cool. I'll um, get this other combine up and running on a worker too, so I can uh, keep this grain cart moving. Great idea. Alright. Right, perfect. So, I think we are uh, jump back up in here. I might just let this head off almost exactly where it's pointing should be a pretty good spot and uh, then I think it might be best if FSG works from the other side instead of trying to work next to it because the GPS rows will never line up with what the worker decides is the best place to harvest but here we are they are off and moving perfect right next step we just need to wait for a truck to get back which it just has 
uh, get into the field. We're probably going to be in the way. That's all right. We will get out of the way in just a sec. I know it's going to get in there just fine. Right, perfect. They will park up in the spot they need to be in, and uh, it gives us something to unload into. We'll jump back up in here. Uh, I'm not sure how full FSG is going to be. Probably not too full just yet, but we will make the most of having the grain cart and getting things unloaded. I'm not sure if he'd get back though. That might be the drama. So let's go and give him an unload. Make sure he can keep on moving. And Cena's coming as well. He's been watching. Yeah, he's not too full. Might have made it back, but we're here now, so. Make the most of it. Let's set the cruise control up so we can uh, make use of that when we do pull up beside one of the tractors. But, all in all, I think this is going to work out pretty well. We should be able to keep things moving a whole lot quicker than we might have if we weren't using a grain cart. There we go. Let's get out of the way because you can unload. And we'll crack into this field, get it done. I can see the other truck running down the road to get here as well. So we're, uh, we're going to be well serviced. Looks like FSG started off here on the near side of the field, so we'll take the worker all the way down the other side. We'll go and get them started down there, and that should work out pretty well. Uh, FSG can unload straight into the truck if he needs to, just while we're waiting doing this. He should be fine though, he only unloaded before he started there. So fingers crossed he's not going to get too full. Let's head on down here, get to the bottom of the field. Joys are having these big rectangular or square, regular shaped fields does make it a lot easier just to use the uh, in-game hide help rather than worrying about course play or anything like that so get this turned around turn on the header get it lined up here parallel with this edge of the field let's wait here with a little bit of lag i think yes there it is it's springing us forward uh, but there we go put things up right about there and i'm just going to turn on the helper and then carry off on the way so let's get back in the grain cart to keep on keeping things moving.
this field has flown by. Uh, we're running down the last couple of passes here and uh, I think UPSG is on a collision course with our worker so we're going to get out of the way. It's not quite empty but we don't want to uh, have a collision happening there so we'll just turn around and see what he's going to do. He's going to back out of the way. Sensible decision there I think. Let the worker go past. They're not going to be quite as tolerant to having a vehicle coming in the opposite direction and that should uh, allow us to get things finished. We will get theirs done, if FSG will get his done, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this over. We'll go and park up over by the, um, or we could have unloaded FSG. We'll go and park this up over by the truck, get these uh, few thousand litres out of the way. And in fact, FSG's had a disconnect. I was like, why is the worker stopped? It's bizarre. I've just been kicked from the game. Right, so uh, we will go and uh, go and recover things. I'm sure he'll be back in just a minute. And there it is, the last of the wheat, the last of this field, and the last of the harvest crops we have ready to go. In fact, the last of any of our crops. We've got nothing else planted anywhere. That is everything off the fields. And uh, ready to get into bins and get sold when the price is at its premium. So uh, we've got lots of money to be made with things to be sold. But uh, that is now harvest finished and a whole lot of work ahead of us getting fields ready and prepped for the next crops to go into them. We head on over here, FSG is just unloading, he should be able to get that into the truck, it was about 84% full. Turned off auto drive just for now, just so it didn't head off and run off uh, somewhere else while we were waiting for it to put the last, uh, get the last bit into the, out of the combine into the truck. All good mate. Yeah, another job well done, I was just saying it's the last of any crops we've got in our fields to be harvested. It is, yeah, yeah, that mm. was, felt like a long harvest that been at it for a few weeks now yeah it does yeah certainly were but nice to see the back of it nice to see it done and uh, we'll have to have a suss out once this truck's got up to the yard to see how much wheat we've ended up with yeah no it did feel like a good crop didn't it certainly did right um i've got all those things ready to head back up to the yard i suppose we'll just go and get things tidied up and put away okay mate yeah no sounds good i'll do the same we'll get the header off here and uh, head up and follow you up excellent all right see you, see you back at the yard done deal. Made it back to the yard, the combine parked up there ready to attack with the pressure washer. This G's probably going to line up there behind us and the truck is here unloading as well so we'll be able to have a look at exactly what we've ended up with. How much wheat we've got off those uh, what four fields in the end? Should be quite a good amount I would have thought. He's, uh, he's not even going to beat me, he's beaten me to the pressure washer has he? No, I'm sure I saw him there, don't know where he's gone. You turned your flashlight on to expect, inspect my cleaning work. Yes, so I just want to make sure everything was glistening and reflecting in the uh, in the light. <laughs> You're a nerd. Haha. <laughs> a cleaning nerd. Well, mate, like we said before, that is harvest done for another season here in Aussie Farms. Yes, indeed, and a nice little haul of wheat there. Yeah, 409,000 litres, so uh, I think... Do I have a look at the maximum value? About 175 grand. Plus another what, yeah. 5 to 10% precision farming bonus on top of that, so. Not bad. Yeah, very handy. It is, it is. But uh, I'm just looking around. I know we've already washed one of the combines. We've got yours lined up there. Grain cart, truck. There's equipment everywhere. So I think uh, a little bit of time sorting that out once we've finished up and then we'll be able to call it quits. Definitely, yeah. Mm. But uh, good day's work, I think. Absolutely, absolutely, always is. Right, well, on that note, I think uh, I'll leave you to it. And we'll catch Thank up you, again next week. Yes, indeed, yeah, no, have a good week. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, maybe chat in the week. But yeah. uh, always good fun hanging yeah. out, mate. Absolutely, always is. And uh, field work calls next week, so look forward to that. Yes, indeed. All, All right. right. Take care, see you soon. Yeah, you too. Catch you later, mate. Bye. Cheers, mate. Bye. And yes, there we go, all the harvesting done, 409,000 litres of wheat, 175 grand, plus a little bit of an extra bonus, and a uh, whole lot of equipment, um, dare I say millions of dollars worth of equipment, just lying around that needs to be tidied up and put away, and we will get to that, I can assure you of that, um, but for now, we're going to wrap things up for another episode here on Aussie Farms, as always, from the farm, some guy and myself, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next one.